think it was like my first international trip I'd ever gone on. It was like with the Blueprint team and Omar Salazar and Fred Gall. We went out drinking one night and uh, they met these girls. And of course, like, are you guys in a band? We're like, yeah, we're in a band. I forget what Omar said we were in. Like, yeah, we're the so-and-so. So we're just kicking it with them. Like, hey, come back to our house or whatever. And like, so we go back to these chicks' house. I think there's like a couple of them. We get in there and the girls, like they have a guitar and like, oh, let's hear you guys, uh, let's hear you guys jam. And we're like, oh, yeah. None of us can play guitar. None of us can do anything. So we're just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. We don't really like playing if we don't have to, you know, because we, we do it so much. Why don't you, why don't you guys, whose guitar is it? She's like, oh, it's mine. All right, let's hear what you got, you know. And she plays and she was, she killed it. Like she was super good. So that was the, the ultimate plan backfired. Like, yeah, yeah, we're in the band, you know. Came out with the, a video part that they were psyched on. Russ Pope was the team manager at the time and he called me up, met up with them and you know, he's just like, yeah, we psyched if you skated for us, whatever. And they asked what I wanted. I wanna have a board come out and I wanna get paid, you know? Cause I wasn't getting paid anything at the time. I didn't have a board sponsor at all. So I was in Barcelona and they called me up like, all right, we'll turn you pro and pay you this much. Dude, I was so burnt on working, you know? I was like, dude, there's not, there's not too many dudes that turn pro at 25, you know what I mean? Nowadays it's like what, 17, 18? So I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta make something happen here. I gotta do whatever I can, you know? I think it was right after I got on, a lot of those dudes got let go. Yeah, yeah it was my on. fault. I told them, I want to turn pro. I want to get paid this much, and all these dudes are gone. No, it didn't go down like that at all. I think I feel like some of them might have thought that though. Maybe I would think that though, you know? But I mean, dude, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, shit, I don't know. I don't know, there's a lot of sexy dudes on there, isn't there? <laughs> I just did a trip. We had to go to Cleveland for Etnies uh, demo. I just pretty much sat there just like this. I probably signed like, I signed a few, just I think people just did it. So they felt bad for me just sitting there, you know what I mean? Like me and Mikey were sitting there, just go right past us, straight to, straight to Sheckler. Like, He'll apologize, like, dude, I'm sorry, you gotta sit here for that long, you know? Because he knows we're just fucking sitting there. And I'll, most of the time, we'll just get up and leave, like, sorry, man, but I can't fucking sit here anymore. Manzuri called and he's like, hey, somehow I got contacted to do this Dinosaur Junior thing. And I need a, basically, I need a fat dude who skates to play J uh, Jay, and I thought of you. First dude I thought was you, so I was like, okay, sick, dude. Thanks, Mike. So like a couple days later, like their manager called, I was like, hey, we got you a flight. The guy was like, I don't even know how much we can pay you. I was like, dude, I'll do it for free, you know? I'm just like to go along and do this shit, you know? To go watch them play, like they played every night. We get there, we find a say, I think it was Atlanta or something. Land goes straight to a show, meet the dudes. Like every night the show would be over, we get on the RV. You wake up in the morning, come out of the RV, and like, where are we now? We'd be somewhere in Florida or something. You know, you never knew where you were. You'd go to sleep and wake up in a new place. So yeah, we'd wake up, and the dudes would come out with us. They would come out and they'd skate with us. I had to wear this wig. I had to wear some crazy like uh, Adidas shoes because that's what he wanted to skate in. Ride a cruiser board basically with the glasses and the wig. So every time I was trying to skate, like there was this gray hair over my face I couldn't see you know so they'd come out with us skate for maybe like three or four hours and then they would go back for sound check or they would film like just rolling up to things you know Manzer would just film their face rolling up and then we'd actually film the trick after they left you know so and then he just put it all together piece it together oh it was amazing dude me and Manzer like dude how did how did this happen it was funny too because we had like our bunks were like in the hallway in the little coffins and the first night we were trying to go to sleep I remember like looking over at Manzuri because he's just on the other side of the hallway and we just had like no fucking just laugh attack, you know what I mean? We had to be quiet because all the other dudes are like sleeping above us. Yeah. And we we're just laughing like, dude, what are we doing here? This is such a random thing.